Hi everyone, welcome back to this series of Emmy Broker tutorials and uh, and information on trading systems as well and, and that's what this particular video is actually going to be about. It's going to be about a trading system based on the highest highs or the lowest lows. Um, so this is a really easy one to do and how do we start every every trading system? We just go to our blank sheet of paper, it's analysis and formula editor and uh, this gives us our blank canvas to work from. So the highest highs and lowest lows, I mean, this has been used uh, in, for example, you know, the highest 52-week 52, uh, 52 highs, you know, you've heard of that surely, or the total trading system, which was based on uh, the highest high of the last 20 days and the lowest low of the last 10 days or something similar to that effect, I think. So this has a lot of potential and it's a really cool thing to do. How we do the highest highs in Emmy Broker is HHV. Now, if I type in HHV, it, uh, it, it turns blue, which means that Emmy Broker recognizes it. And it also means that we have to open up our bracket and it will tell us what it expects from us. So we want the highest high value and the array we want, we just want that from the close. So the closing price and we'll make it the last, the highest high of the last 85 trading days and we close that off with a semicolon. And we can do the same thing for the lowest low, which is lowest low value, whoop, V. <laughs> there we go, LLV. And again, it turns blue, so it knows that, uh, we know that it recognizes it. And then we open up our bracket, it's the closing price, and the range will be well, whatever we want, you know, Let's make it 35 days, so we don't want it to be quite as long as our entry criteria. Um, so that's how we set up highest high value and lowest low value. If we want to turn that into a trading system, we just need to turn these into arrays so that we can reference them. And, you know, they're just like objects, so we could call it highest... Uh, no, highest uh, value. And that... Now, every time that Emmy Broker sees highest value, it will return the array that we set up, which is really cool. And the next one we could do lowest value. And again, we could call that anything that we wanted, really. Um, but it's just us setting up an object so that we can reference to it in the future. So what we would do then is set up our buy and sell signals. And when it turns bold, as we've told before, um, if we type in buy and it turns bold, that means that Emmy Broker recognizes it, and that's a that's a really good sign for us. So we want a closing price greater than or equal to the array that we set up, which is the highest high value of the last 85 trading days. And we close that off with a semicolon. And the sell, the sell signal, we might want a closing price less than or equal to the highest. Oh, no, no, the um, the array that we set up before. <laughs> Goodness me. Um, it would help if I get it correct, wouldn't it? <laughs> um, so there we go. So, and if we wanted to get rid of our any additional signals that we might get, we just go XREM or remove our excess signals. So for in order for us to have a, oh, sorry, it turns blue. So what does that mean? It means that Emmy Broker recognizes it and also we have to open up our bracket. So in order for there to be a buy, we need there to be a sell signal first. And we'll do an remove excess signals for our sell signal as well. We want there to be a buy signal first. And we'll just set that up as our sell signal and our buy signal so that it actually does get rid of those excess signals. So every time it buys and sells, it will it will remove those excess signals for us. And that's basically our trading system. If we wanted to just set position, uh, set option, we can set up our, our um, uh, position sizing. So we'll go max open positions. And I'll show you how to plot this as well really quickly. Um, We'll make 20 open positions, just, and you can change this to anything, whatever you prefer. Um, set position size, and that turns blue as well, so that means we open up our bracket. We want the size to be 5 SPS percent 
of equity. And it gives us a clue there in the um, in that code there as well. And it turns bold, so that means that the AMI broker recognizes it. We close it off with a semicolon, and that closes off our line of code. So that should basically um, give us what we want. We'll just call that the... What do we want to call that? Just a highest high trading... Whoop. Trading system. Yeah, that sounds very simple. Save that there. And that should give us, um, if we go to analysis, old automatic analysis, we uh, just pick the one that we want, which is highest high trading system. And we choose our range. Let's, for this sake, we'll choose the last 13 years from 2000 to today just click on that happy days and you can select a watch list that you want to test very very simple as well if we click back test then and then report it should give us the details that we want um, based on this it's giving us an average annual return of 22 percent per annum um, the win percentage is quite low at 37 percent and here's our equity curve here so two quite large drawdowns during 2008 and 2011. Um, but apart from that, it performs fairly well. You could add an index filter in there to sort of get rid of those those large drawdown periods potentially. So that's one thing that you could potentially do. Uh, really quickly, if we wanted to plot this on our chart, let's just go, we'll go plot. And as you can see, it turns blue. We open up our bracket. We want to plot the buy signal and that buy signal, obviously, uh, the array is the highest high value. In fact, sorry, that's all we need is just the array. So we just want to plot the highest high value. And again, if we open up that bracket, it tells us what it's expecting. Oh, come back. <laughs> there we go. Um, we want the name. We can call it anything. We'll call it high. We want the color to be color let's say color green, but it's the American spelling, of course, and style line. The rest we don't need to, to worry about for the sake of this. Close it off with a, with a semicolon, save it, and then we should be able to actually uh, overlay this on our chart, if I can just find it. Highest high trading system. And there we go. How cool is that? So this then is the highest high line of the last 85 trading days. And as you can see, there's our entry signal there. And as it goes along, there's there would be another entry signal. And again, if you check out the video on how to plot things on a chart, we show you how to do the, the trading arrows as well if you really want to do those. Um, and of course, we could plot the exit signal at the same time. Very, very simple. So that's just a really simple highest high value um, trading system. Uh, you could use it to sort of support your own trading system or to, to help develop your own trading system. I wouldn't recommend trading it on its own. Uh, obviously, uh, those drawdowns were a little bit too nasty for, for quite some, for, for a lot of people, I imagine. Anyway, I hope that has helped in some small way. Guys, have a great day. Have a great week. Happy trending until I see you next time. And bye for now.